Hello everyone, welcome to the first series of our website customization videos. I'm TJ George and I'll be taking you through the first video. In this case, we want to talk about how to log in to your website dashboard after activating your account. So, this video, the first part, will be mostly understood by some who is a GF member. So, after activating your account, your hosting part will be shown this way. And immediately your account goes active, uh, your domain is also activated. So, you can even confirm the domain activity. Uh, by copying the domain and typing it on whois.com which is an international domain for checking if a domain is active so when you paste your domain on the whois.com and then you search it it will be able to bring you the details about your domain so like in this case it's showing you the domain itself the registrar when it was registered and expiry which is actually one year from the day of registration so now that your domain is active you want to check how to log into your website to start making the changes so there are two ways of logging into the website in this scenario the first way is um, by logging in automatically from a GIF account so after automatically logging in you can be able to reset a password so if you want to automatically log in you click on WP this button here WP login so when you click on this button it automatically takes you to the admin area of your website so this button here in the accounts work automatically without checking the username and the password so it goes automatically to the website or to the dashboard so you can see we click the button and then it loads your dashboard automatically without any problem so after logging into the dashboard of your website the first thing you like to do in this case is now to change the password because uh, you want to I want to show you the second way of logging in where you don't need to be logging into any uh, phone or any laptop or computer you want to be logging into your website the next time so you want to have a password and a username so the first thing on the top right corner of your website you will see a part written admin so admin in this scenario is the username to your website so you'll click that button there which is a uh, the picture when you click the picture it will load in your profile or when you hover over the picture you click edit profile this page will show so when this page shows you can be able to scroll down to the bottom part and then you'll see a part showing set a new password so when you click this button here of setting a new password it gives you a chance to set a new password so a box will show there so you can decide to set a new password an example so when you set a new password uh, make it a stronger one an example and then this new password is now what we're going to use to log in to our website in the second way which is the widely known way or globally of logging in to the website dashboard where you can be able to make all the changes so the second way of logging into your website is by typing your domain slash WP hyphen admin so you type in your domain when you type your domain on the browser, it loads in what the public sees. Like in this scenario, when your website just activates after a few hours, it will go live and it comes to the default information like this one. So when I now want to make my changes, I now need to log in. So that I'm showing you the second way, which is the domain slash. You can either use login, it opens the same page, that is the first one, or you can also use domain slash wp hyphen admin like the way it is shown up there you can use the domain slash wp hyphen login or wp hyphen admin any of them should be able to lead you to this page so on this page here you will be requested to put in your username and the password and you have to know that the username you are asked here is not the same as your gf account username so in this scenario we will enter our password so the password we had set when we are lo when we are logged in is this one so when i click login this password is supposed to take me automatically to the dashboard so that is the way to log in so if it is the first time i'm logging in i will be asked to save my password if it is not the sec first time uh, i'll be able to log in automatically so when you are logging in from a browser or a, a computer which is not yours your advice not to save your password so ladies and gentlemen thank you for viewing this video i'll be coming back with the second one of now after logging in what do you need to do so if you are here for the first time you may consider subscribing liking and sharing this video with your champions and anyone who it might help so thank you so much and see you on the next video tj george